Sampang is the only city in Thailand that still has horse carts as a means of transportation. A sightseeing trip on a cart around downtown Lampang is certainly a must-do if you're visiting the city. The carts, stationed at different spots in downtown Lampang, usually follow two routes. The big loop taking around 40 minutes costs 350 baht, and the smaller loop for 200 baht lasts 20 minutes. Both stop at the downtown's iconic landmarks and famous attractions. You can also charter a car for 400 baht per hour and design your own route. And that was just what we did. Our first stop was Ban Saunak or House of Many Pillars. Built in 1895 with a largely 116 supporting building posts. The house blending Lanna and Burmese architecture exhibits antiques of the late residents. It gives you a good peek into a wealthy Lampang family's life in the past. Ban Saunak means the house of many poles. The names come from the fact that it's got 116 poles all together supporting it. Now this former residence operates as a museum housing antiques and hosts events like wedding reception. Then, we left for Pratu Pong Temple a few hundred meters from the house. The temple is another ancient Lana temple with fine art and architecture that is rarely seen these days. Postcards have always been a visitor's favorite choice of transportation in Lampang. The cards were brought to the city by some Portuguese traders in the early 20th century, the same time the National Railway reached Lampang town. Horse cards were always popular among tourists arriving with trains, and heavily served Burmese merchants when Lampang became an important tea trade center later on in the same century. As the engine-powered wheels replaced the animal-driven ones, the number of horse cars dwindled. Yet, tourists have voted it one of the most enjoyable ways to go around the city. Thanks to the tourist existence, at least 70 cars are left operating in the city today. After the temple visit, our cart brought us across the Wing River. Bratada Pisek Bridge was built to celebrate King Rama V's 25th birthday anniversary. The bridge has always been a valuable site for Lampang people. It was camouflaged with paint to avoid being a bomb target during World War I and World War II. We then pass this Chinese Chiang Rai temple before reaching another important landmark of downtown. The old market or Gat Gong Ta Road parallels the Wing River. This old trading community played an important role in Lampang's economy in the colonial period. Its beautiful old buildings of Chinese, European and Burmese architecture will easily transport you back into the era. Postcards are a terrific way to explore Lampang's downtown a chance to visit its musty attractions without breaking a sweat.
find them in front of the old city hall at Lampang Wiang Tong Hotel from 6 a.m. to early evening. <laughs>